a little misty rain, long lines. Are you gonna catch them today? What's your game plan? Tell it out loud in front of all these people. There he is, good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is a homemade biscuit from Davis Grocery. This thing is awesome, man. If you're on the Round Lake Cumberland, make a special stop. Dug myself a heck of a hole after day one. Got an update. The motor broke down. Yes, dude. Dude. <laughs> Give me some, boo, dude. <laughs> yes. We are broke down. <laughs> so we are in line right now to blast off for the Costa Championship on Lake Cumberland. Going to be misty, rainy, really rainy all day. Tomorrow at blast off, it's going to be 27. So today it blasts off at 63. So big condition change from day one to day two. We'll have to adapt at some point. Hopefully not today. Hopefully today I can be hard headed and just run and gun with a whopper plopper and a buzz bait and just run and catch them. Now if that does not work, we will try to change things up. I tried a lot in practice to change things up and it just did not ever really work for me. So hopefully they're just biting top water in, them, in that buck brush. If they're doing that, we'll catch them. If not, it's gonna be a grind. So. Follow along, stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be a fun day either way. We'll come in here with five for about how much? 13-1. 13-1. She got no confidence in me. There he is, good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Usually, usually I do, but ain't catching nothing today. There's one. There's a small mouth. so cold I can't freaking open it. Nip, 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 boy. I got it. 
Man, I cannot get him unhooked. There you go. That's also a good one. We appreciate your vision with us. Kyle Welcher, Cleveland, Tennessee Pro. Four in the bag. One shot of the tournament limits. Got knows how to catch him. He's right at $50,000 in career earnings. Your four more today, Kyle. Field. We're going to weigh 9 pounds, 15 ounces. Fifth place for you right now, Kyle. Good work. Bring us five tomorrow to see what we can do for you. Well, we bundled up on day two. Dug myself a heck of a hole after day one. We had 9.15. I just could not catch five. I, the conditions, I, I, I am big time on fish the conditions. I always try to do that. And yesterday it was overcast, drizzling rain, pouring rain. And I threw a top water way, way, way too long. As you can see in practice, I was really, really catching them on top water, and I really didn't fish the bank much at all in practice. I fished offshore or points or stuff like that a lot in practice, and whenever I went to the bank, I would catch one now off the same exact pattern every single time. So I really ran a lot of that stuff today or yesterday. I thought I could catch a pretty good bag, and I had the bites. They just didn't get it. They weren't eating the same, and I didn't get near as many bites as I had been getting. So basically, dug herself a hole. Day two. We're going to stay close to the ramp, stay in a little bit of stained water, target some smallmouth, and see what we can do. Let's uh, get out there, try not to freeze to death, and catch about 15 pounds. That's a keeper, ain't that's a, Is that a largemouth? Yeah. I don't know the difference between them. Yes. He's got a tongue patch, but he is a large mouth. How does he have a tongue patch? I'll wait a minute, see if they what? figure it out. Well, he's a large mouth. Got an update. Motor broke down. Shift actuator is what the tech said. So we're going to take it out, let them fix it, and then uh, we'll hopefully still have like six and a half hours whenever they get done. So we got six and a half hours to catch five. So oh wait. Yes. They were over the hook, baby. Over the hook, baby. Saying not a single play at any of them. Right. I couldn't believe it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's one on it. Well, I was trying to help you out my bed. No, you good, dude. I'm quick. <laughs> I'm quick, dude. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you. Drop my sandwich. <laughs> 15 inches right there. Yes, dude. Dude. <laughs> Give me some, boo, dude. <laughs> yes. No, it's not a big one, but dude. dude. That might be too Broke down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Broke down and we got five. What? Down. We are broke down. Is this almost marker buoy or piece of garbage? Marker buoy, there you go.
do right oh yeah big time notorious for it yeah they like beat them up and come back around and then decide to eat it that's what we call it we just caught him <laughs> i was very happy to have him about four minutes ago <laughs> Little keeper, not gonna help. I just don't. And you have you have the choice over where you want to put your heads? Oh yeah. I got him. I just looked at it. Look how fat he is, dude. Yeah. I need that one of mine to be that fat. <laughs> dude, that's not even close. Even five. Dang, man. Got one? Yeah, yep. We net him? That's a good smaller, dude. Freaking big smaller. Big smally dude. You got a freaking tank. He come yes! he came off. He came... I don't know if this is gonna get me paid, but I'm happy about it. <laughs> That's a freaking billion, dude. Been broke down since nine. Yeah, he got a big one. He got a three and a half, four pounder. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real good, biggest one of the day. 183. Okay, so basically, we got out of Lake Cumberland with uh, 21st place, something like that, something around 21st, and day two of the tournament, 9 o'clock in the morning, we didn't blast off. I didn't leave till 8.20. At 9.17, pull up to a spot, crank the boat up, it won't go in gear. First issue I've had with that Mercury all year, and I've had a Mercury my entire life, I've never... It's, I broke down one other time. That's because a belt broke and I fished so many tournaments. But anyways, broke down 9 o'clock. It was like 9.20 in the morning on day two. Broke down, had zero fish. Y'all saw that. While Hunter was on the way to pick my boat and my boat up with the truck and trailer, 
So basically you could take the boat out of the water at a different ramp and I could take it to Mercury and Mercury could fix it and then relaunch. But if I had any fish, I'd have to throw them back if I take it out of a different ramp. So Hunter was on the way to get me in the truck and boat. I had my jacket off, my camera off, because I thought I was just ready to go. I was just about to leave, but I was still fishing around the boat ramp. Well, before she could get back, I catch a, my biggest fish, a three pounder. Then I catch a two pound largemouth. Then I lose a two and a half pound smallmouth. So I call Hunter and I'm like, they don't need to come get me. I'm staying. I ain't throwing back a three pounder and a two pounder because it's so tough right now. If I catch three fish for 10 pounds, I'd probably get a check. So we just troll motored back five and a half miles all the way back to the ramp. Caught us uh, 12 pounds on the way and my co angler caught him one real nice one and then a, uh, another keeper. So caught us five, got us a check, broke down, made it all the way back with a trolling motor, got back just in time. And that's it, guy. There with the check. So if you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I know y'all saw me catching pretty good in practice on top water. And in the first day of the tournament, I don't know what happened. That just would not go. I caught a good one early on it, and then it just wouldn't go for me. I should have made an adjustment about two hours sooner on the turn on uh, day one, and I probably would have had a good bag. But anyways, that's how it goes. We got us a pretty nice check, and that's the last big tournament of the year. So I will see y'all later.